so hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so guys today in this video i'm gonna tell you how to fix facetime get chats not working issue on iphone in ios 17 so guys many ios 17 devices users are complaining about facetime gestures not working issue you don't know how to fix this if you're also facing this issue this don't worry in this video i'm gonna tell you how to fix this facetime gestures not working issue our first step is to restart your iPhone. A simple restart can often fix minor software glitches that may be preventing FaceTime get shares from working properly. So if you go to your settings, then go to general, scroll down and tap on shutdown, shut down your iPhone and then restart it after 10 to 15 seconds later. After restarting your iPhone, then you have to make sure that you are using the front camera. FaceTime get shares only work with the front camera, so you have to make sure you are using the front camera. Then you have to make sure that you are framing yourself properly in the camera. Your face should be centered in the frame and your hand should be visible. Then you have to make sure you are using the correct gestures. The following uh, the gestures are supposed supported in iOS 17 FaceTime like swipe up, increase the volume, for swiping down decrease volume, for swipe left mute and unmute yourself, for swipe right switch to the guide view. Then you have to try disabling and re-enabling FaceTime gestures. To do this, simply you have to go back and then go to FaceTime. And you will see your option. You will see your option uh, gesture. You have to, if it, these are disabled, then simply you have to enable them. After enabling the gesture from your Face ID and you're still facing the same issue, then you have to update your I iPhone to the latest version of iOS 17. Apple often release update that fix bugs and improve performance. So you have to go to your general, then tap on software update and see if it's there is any available update for your iPhone. If there is, then simply update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS 17. After applying this all solution you are still facing the same issue then you can try reset your iPhone settings. This will resort, restore your iPhone settings to their factory default but it will not erase any of your personal data. To reset your iPhone settings you have to go to your settings and go to general, scroll down and then tap on transfer or reset iPhone, tap on reset, tap on reset net all settings, enter your password and fix your issue. So guys if this video helps you then make sure to like and subscribe my youtube channel for upcoming videos and thanks for watching.